industry leaders are changing how they do business and working to make real progress in the face of political, economic, social, and technological challenges. In Leaders Moving Business Forward, McDermott features innovative executives who are leading the way with proactive strategies. Hi, I'm Kate McDonald, a partner in the DC healthcare practice of McDermott, Will & Emery. Joining us for this episode of Leaders Moving Forward is Fatima Goss-Graves, President and CEO of the National Women's Law Center. Fatima, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Kate. Absolutely. So let's get into our discussion. What have you done as the leader of this major advocacy organization to address the issues of equity and inclusion um, right there in the National Women's Law Center um, itself? In this pandemic, people are feeling questions of equity even more deeply. You know, we sort of had multiple types of pandemics that happened this year. It was the COVID health crisis, but people have talked about the visibility of racial injustice felt like a pandemic to the sort of thing that provides an important shift for organizations. And sometimes when you're in the midst of change, and I wanna offer this to folks because the work of equity, inclusion and belonging and justice, it's not actually fast work. And when you're in the middle of it, you might not feel it all the time. You might not notice it all the time. And so you actually need to have measures um, where you're looking to see how are we changing? And so I'll just tell you a couple of ways that we have been able to shift. Part of it is who makes up the National Women's Law Center? Who are the folks that work here? And we are now a majority woman of color staff. We are now a staff that has um, women of color working in all types of roles throughout the organization. We're a staff that has uh, a really thriving queer caucus um, and, a, and a pretty significant portion of our staff. We're a staff that has a disability working group and, and, and caucuses based on race and gender as well that actually are really shifting how we think about things, who is naming things, whose voices are heard and the direction of our work in, in exciting ways. But it's also a thing that has to be front of mind all the time, right? Yeah, yeah, that couldn't be more true. Well, among the people who, you know, are affected by the pandemic, what keeps you going and keeps you motivated in these times that you might share with other leaders in your space? Well, the, the first is like, I'm really clear about why I do the work that I do, I, I, and I think that grounding yourself in the purpose of why you do what you do, what you're, it is the thing that you're going to have to keep coming back to again and again as things are hard, as you're wondering. And I, I just think, especially in this time, we can't take ourselves too seriously. We have to lean in and find moments and times for joy. And we have to find those people who you have those tremendous belly laughs with and go get them if you're not having them. <laughs> um, and it, it, sometimes it's sort of the smallest thing, but it is the thing that's keeping me going. Find your thing, your outlet that has nothing to do with your day to day, but that is just something that brings you joy. Yeah, well, that's fantastic advice for all of us. Well, thank you so much, Fatima, for joining us today. Thank you to the National Women's Law Center for all of your efforts to fight for gender and racial equality. We're so thankful for your work and it's been wonderful chatting with you. Thanks so much, Kate. Watch more Leaders Moving Business Forward videos at mwe.com slash move forward and subscribe for updates.